Globalization phenomena, like the mobility of people, ideas, and information, have changed our society, which is increasingly multilingual. In this changing and interconnected world, there are more and more people who speak different languages for different purposes in different contexts, such as at school, at work, with family, or with friends. The complexity of human relationships and the use of different languages in our global society has weakened the exclusive link between one nation and one language and challenged the idea that languages are necessarily linked to nations. As a result of this shift, language education experts are now questioning the effectiveness of a pedagogy that says we must focus on one language at a time ignoring the multiple language transfers and links that plurilingual speakers can make across languages. In this multilingual world where languages coexist, the term plurilingualism is used to emphasize the plurilinguistic repertoire of individuals and all the multiple linguistic resources they have at their disposal to communicate, to express themselves, and to learn additional languages. In a broader view of the globalized and multilingual world, therefore, plurilingualism is the norm, not an exception. So let's keep exploring what plurilingualism is. Plurilinguals decide which language to use with whom and in which situations. However, they may not have or need equal competencies in all of these languages. Language experts in Europe call linguistic competencies that are not fully developed partial competencies. For instance, you may develop a partial competency in a language, like reading, because you only need that language skill to read research papers in your field of study. Or you might focus more on listening and speaking because you need to interact at work in routine exchanges, or for any other reason that does not require you to achieve a high level of language proficiency. Actually, reaching an equal and perfect knowledge in two or more languages is quite exceptional. Also, language learning is a lifelong process, and you can improve your linguistic knowledge, learn additional languages, or, more broadly, adapt your linguistic repertoire to changing circumstances throughout your life. Different studies on language education show the benefits that speakers of two or more languages may have. For instance, they are more effective in communication, have different worldviews and better understanding of other cultures, show creativity in problem solving when dealing with complex global issues, and sensitivity toward global citizenship values. Their memory improves and that might stave off dementia. Most importantly, they are faster language learners. In fact, there are differences between learners of a second language and those who learn a third language or additional languages. Third language learners are faster language learners because they are experienced language learners and have already developed skills and strategies for learning a language. We can compare this experience to walking, first language, then learning to drive a car, second language, and then facing the challenge of driving a bus, third language. The experience of driving a car involving specific skills and strategies can be extremely useful when driving another type of vehicle. Plurilingual speakers, therefore, can take advantage of their previous experiences and knowledge by making transfers of linguistic features, concepts, and strategies while learning a new language. In language teaching and learning, so-called plurilingual approaches allow learners to employ these transfers more effectively and to use their prior linguistic knowledge to learn grammar, vocabulary, pragmatics, pronunciation, and orthography in the target language more quickly. In other words, a plurilingual pedagogy may encourage learners to use their Spanish to learn Italian words, as in Spanish estación and Italian stazione, or to compare French and Italian words to learn spelling, as in French découvert and Italian scoperto. 
or make associations between sounds in English and sounds in Italian to better recall the appropriate pronunciation, as in key in English and chiave in Italian. Plurilingual speakers might use these strategies and linguistic transfers in their daily life while listening to a heritage language within their family, like an Italian dialect, or making sense of texts from friends who speak another language, or reading a sign or a menu in a foreign country, or learning a new language. However, plurilingual approaches help learners to develop metalinguistic awareness and metacognitive awareness of their learning strategies in order to make more effective use of knowledge transfers while learning additional languages. To sum up, in this video we have learned what is the meaning of plurilingualism, why plurilingual approaches differ from monolingual approaches to teaching, and how plurilingualism and plurilingual approaches mirror the heterogeneous contexts of life in our global society.